What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to create the custom table view cell. Here in the main storyboard, first we will create the table view. Set on the constraint for the table view. Okay. Next, we will create the custom table view self. I will name it item table view self. And remember, check this checkbox. Also, create the zip file. Okay. We will design the layout for item table view cell. This example, I will create the table view cell with the UI image and one label. Okay, create the IB outlet for the UI image view and the label. Remember to set the identifier for the table view cell. Okay, now back to the view controller. First, we have to create the IB outlet for the UI table view. And set the view controller as the data source and the delegate of the UI table view. Okay, now we will create the data to display on the table view. And because the item table view shall have the UI image view, so I already prepared some image here. Okay, because we want to use the custom table view cell, so we have to register the custom table view cell. We will load the item table view cell by NIP. The nib name is the name of the 
item table view cell dot xib and copy and put here set the bundle to new so that the ui nip will load the new file in the main bundle then we register the nif and the cell identifier is this one so identifier okay we will put this function into the view did load and we have to extend the view controller to extend the UI table view data source so we have the number of row in section is we will return the to do item dot count and cell for row at index path we will dq the cell by UI table view dq index path and the identifier we will first ungraph the cell into the item table view cell then we can use the cell uh, okay this is here and the ending path here then we can use the self dot item image view dot image equal ui image of name we will use the image and index path dot round and the self dot item tied to label equal the to do item of index path dot round then we will return the cell and also we have to implement the function of UI table view delegate UI table view delegate then we will set the height for row at index path I want the the height of the row will be one fourth of the table view height. Fourth. And also, if you want to handle the this select item at row index path, so we can implement this function and it select. Uh, so we can see the indicate here okay try okay but if you can you can see here the image look straight right so uh, to make it better we can change by we go to item table view cell and then we specify the content mode to aspect find okay try one more time and you will see the difference okay it's work pretty nice but somehow the image here in the first row overlap the image in the second 
round. Why is that? So to, just to fix this bug, we simply just click here, clip to bout, then the image will display very well. Okay, perfect. But you can see in the third round, the label is disappear here. So to fix this, we can add the shadow for the label easily by click to the item table label and we create the shadow for the label. Okay, now I will set the shadows to light gray color and we set the shadow offset is 2 and 2. Okay. Okay, one more time. Okay, really nice, right? The tag is visible and you can see it's very well here. And if you want to put or try one more row, so just put here. Try one more time. You will see five row in the table view. Okay, five row. Okay, that's this for today. Thank you very much for your watching and I hope you like the video and sub subscribe to my channel to see a new video every week. Thank you.